everybody. Welcome back to another video. Today we are primarily aiming this video at first time home buyers. All right, so what is PMI? It's a term that's thrown around a lot, especially when you're talking to a lender. All right, so what's PMI? Private mortgage insurance. All right, so let's talk about what the deal is with PMI today. All right, so uh, anytime you have less than 20% down when you're wanting to buy a home, you're looking at private mortgage insurance. What it's basically going to do is it's going to protect the lender's interest in this loan, right? So remember, you are paying money, you're buying money to go buy a house, right? The lenders, the banks, they all know that a certain percentage of people are going to ultimately default. They're going to go into foreclosure, they're going to stop paying their mortgage for various different reasons. What this is doing is protecting the lender's interest, okay? So basically, less than 20% down, you're probably looking at some PMI, all right? There's two types of PMI, all right? There is private mortgage insurance, and then there is mortgage insurance that's paid to the government, all right? So if you have a government-backed loan, something like an FHA or a VA loan, you're looking at probably paying the government, where if you go through a private lending institution and you don't have an FHA or a VA, more conventional, jumbo, whatever it may be, then you're looking at paying a private entity, all right? So it really just depends on the loan itself, all right? So the cost of PMI, it ranges anywhere from 0.3 to 1.15% of the value of the house that you're purchasing, all right? That's really gonna be determined by quite a few factors and that's where you really gotta talk to a lender to get more specific info, all right? When it comes to the payments, you got two options, right? Number one is you can pay it monthly. All right, that's an easy thing to do. The second thing you can do is you can have the, that cost basically lumped into the closing costs, into the loan, and it basically is taken care of in that regard. So those are two different options. You gotta talk with a lender to figure out what the best path is for you and your family, for your specific situation, all right? So once we have the PMI in place, how do we get rid of it, all right? There's a couple different things we gotta keep in mind here, all right? Once you get to 20% equity in the home, right, then you can ask to have it removed. Once it gets to 22%, it has to be removed, except when the government's involved. If you have an FHA loan, it's for the lifetime of the loan. Right? There's no way around that other than you're gonna have to refinance. All right? So there's what you wanna keep in mind about removal. All right? And then the last part, um, how can we possibly avoid having to pay PMI? There's three different ways. Um, the first is you pay a higher interest rate. All right, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. The second is pretty risky if you ask me, but again, not a lender, all right, is uh, a piggyback loan. So what it basically is, is it's gonna be an additional loan that's gonna cover, you know, whatever it may be, but it's normally at a higher interest rate. So you really gotta watch out for that. Do the math, make sure that it's making sense. The third way is once you have owned the house long enough, you could have it reappraised if you think that the home value is gonna go up and it's ultimately gonna bump you up over that 20% um, equity in the home. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's what PMI is. If you guys like the video, if you got something good out of it, hit the like button below. If you have questions, leave me a comment. I'll check it all day long, make sure that we uh, get it answered. And of course, um, would love any feedback. If you want me to put you in touch with one of the preferred lenders that we work with, get in touch with me. I'd be more than happy to connect you. We got some outstanding loan officers that we work with. So, all right, everybody, that's private mortgage insurance. That's the skinny on it. If you have any further questions, you can get me here. Cell phone, that's... Uh, either going to be voice or text, website, email, and social media. So all right, everybody, make it a great day.